All right, people following this Hat J case, I found another great website, openpublicrecords.com. I was scrolling through this. Uh, um, this is the Randall Bean case. I had just done a search for the uh, for that case number, 17-CR-00082. And, and this page was in one of the search returns. And I noticed scrolling through this that up at the top here, the published date is August 14th, and uh, and that's today. So I went back over to the docket uh, that I found at courtlistener.com and refreshed that page, and there's been a bunch of very important things uh, pertinent to this case that have been filed today. Um, Randy Bean put a motion for a hearing to review uh, the attorney-client relationship. Um, from what I've heard uh, through reading through his last phone call, uh, uh, he got into an argument with his court-appointed lawyer who only wanted to talk about deals, uh, plea bargains, and, and talk about uh, amount of jail time or prison time, and so he fired him. Uh, also is a notice that Randy Bean uh, as self pro per in the, in, in the above entitled case. So he's saying now that uh, he's going to represent himself. But look at this. There's some interesting verbiage that is added to this court record. And it says effective you know they misspelled it they say nunc pro tune we we all know that this last e right here sh the this e should be a c what is that huh oh look i can download something that's i'm gonna mess with that later um so he says nunc pro tung praetera praetera so, you know, very interesting here that that nunk pro tunk. Wow, I <laughs> I can't uh, I can't highlight that without that window coming up. So, yet another mistake uh, in the in the entering of this court stuff. I am blown away by their lack of attention to detail here, guys. Totally blown away. There's no double checking or anything. Also here is a notice of filing standing due termination, now a matter of public record as to Randall Bean. Uh, I don't know what that means, standing due termination. Uh, maybe he's saying that, that this case needs to be terminated because of uh, the UCC paperwork. I don't know. Uh, we need to find out what this line means. This uh, next one's interesting. Uh, order as to Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe, notice of attorney appearance. Uh, for reasons fully set forth in this order, the court orders that the purported notice of appearance filing document 17 be stricken. So Judge C. Clifford Shirley has stricken document 17, the notice of appearance filing that Heather Tucci Giraffe uh, made earlier this week and and you can see now that this August 4th entry has been modified it is now stricken from the record notice of public appearance filing of Heather Antucci giraffe as self pro per modified on 814 and and notice how they have a space in between pro and per here and, and I want you to see how they entered it and Randall Beans, they got it, quote, proper, P-R-O-P-E-R, -E with no space. So there is, there are two mistakes here in today's entry into the court docket, and I wonder what effect that has. This is completely beyond asinine that there are this many mistakes, and that's coming from my personal experience. This stuff needs to be corrected ASAP.